Hey everybody, it's the doll boy, and today I am finally taking a look at my new Esmeralda doll. About a month and a half ago, I first showed you the brand new Disney dolls that I bought from the Disney store, and I've already done reviews for Megara, Alice, and Wendy, but my Esmeralda doll has stayed in box until now. I'm so excited to unbox her today and get a closer look at the doll together with you. Esmeralda comes in this window style box, that's the same style as the other ones. For this specific one, it says Hunchback of Notre Dame on the bottom, as well as the name of the character, Esmeralda. I'm personally so excited that Disney Store finally created a doll for her and I really love the way she looks in her box. On the side of the box we can see an image of Notre Dame and that gorgeous art line artwork we've seen for all the characters in this lineup. At the very top there are some decorations shown for the Festival of Fools, which is the holiday they're celebrating in the movie. These decorations continue on the back of the box and it shows you how Esmeralda looks in the movie. It also has these really nice silhouettes from Notre Dame and Esmeralda dancing. Then on the bottom of the box, like always, it tells you the price of these dolls, which is about 14 pounds or 17 euros. The other side of the box has some pretty cool icons from the Festival of the Fools on it. To get this doll out of the box, I'm simply taking off that plastic cover that is taped in place. So you can take out that inside box, which shows you all the tags she's held in place with. Unbox. I really love this doll. Esmeralda does come with her hair severely gelled in place in these waves, with her frontmost strand cut a lot shorter than the rest of the hair, but gelled in place just as much. The doll comes with this bright pink ribbon that she's wearing as a headband. It's tied in a knot in the back and it does not have any elastic or velcro like we've seen on the other dolls. Right out of the box, this ribbon is secured to her head with this little tag, so be careful cutting that off because it's really easy to cut either the ribbon or the hair. What I'm not a big fan of is that Esmeralda has only one ear pierced and she's wearing a hoop earring that's really stuck in her ear. As I said, the other ear does not have a hole or an earring in it, so if you wanted her to wear two earrings, you'd have to pierce that second hole yourself. For her face, I'm really loving the face sculpt and face paint that they gave her, with her red lips and super thick black eyebrows. The dress Esmeralda is wearing is a pretty close representation of the movie that's simplified a little. It's this white blouse with that green and yellow corset piece that unfortunately does not go all the way around. Her light purple skirt is attached to that as well. Esmeralda's dark purple wraparound does have this pretty golden trim and it's a separate piece that's held in place with several little tags. So you could remove it, but I don't think you'll manage to get it back on because there's no velcro whatsoever. What I also noticed is that this dress does not have the infamous glitter like the other dolls in this line do. Esmeralda is wearing several bracelets around her arm, with some of them being really loose but that could just be my doll. She's also wearing some of those same bracelets around her ankle. And as you can see, this doll does come with the flat feet. 
body-wise, this doll has the same body as the other Disney Store dolls we've seen, with movement at the head, shoulders, elbows and wrists, and the hip as well. The doll has those rubber legs with the bend and snap knees and flat feet. Now to wash out all of the product in her hair, I dress this doll in an outfit I don't mind getting wet and start rinsing the hair in cold water. I gently separate the hair with my fingers and start massaging and finger combing the hair to really loosen up that product. Then I take my comb and start combing the hair out really well. When all the hair is nicely brushed out, I rinse it out again with warm water to smooth the hair out a little more. This actually also made the head flexible enough for me to remove that earring. And as you can see, it was held in place inside the head with that little hook. After washing the hair, I wrapped everything around these perm rollers and that front section around the straw for a tighter curl. After letting everything dry overnight, it's time to reveal the curls. This Disney Store hair does give you a really intense curl, so to make it look a little more styled and finished, I separate each curl in several pieces. This gave me this really nice hairstyle that I feel fits Esmeralda perfectly. To finish the look, I'm putting her back in the original outfit so I could take some real after pictures. I also got a lot of questions about the possibility to put her on a Barbie made to move body, but unfortunately I haven't found the perfect match for her. The orange top doll that I've used on Jasmine is a lot too light and Esmeralda has much more of a pink undertone than Jasmine. As I experienced the exact same issue with my Moana doll before, I also wanted to compare those two. And their skin tones are actually a perfect match. I really love this because I've wanted a new body for Moana for quite a long time, since her original body is very hard to find outfits for. She is rebodied at the moment on this Disney Store Freddy body, so if you prefer those bodies, Esmeralda would also be a great match for that. I really hope you liked this video and the result of my little restyle as well. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more pictures of my dolls, also follow me on Instagram, at the doll boy. See you next time!